today we're celebrating All Species Day. It started 30 years ago here in Montpelier, 1989 to celebrate the web of life that we're all interwoven into a beautiful fabric of creation. We have puppets, people come all dressed up in costumes, and we parade through the streets of Montpelier. Montpelier is a really community-oriented place to live. People are very invested in this town. We want to live in a place that cares about the environment, that cares about our neighbors, and that uh, is livable and sustainable for people of all incomes and, and walks. I grew up in Essex, Vermont, and then moved to Montpelier about 10 years ago so that I could teach physics, actually, here at Montpelier High School. Not only am I the mayor and a, a full-time teacher, but I also coach uh, a spring sport, which is ultimate frisbee. Well, I actually was a part of the group of coaches that helped ultimate frisbee become a varsity-sanctioned sport in the state of Vermont. I love coaching for so many reasons. Just the excitement of the games itself and I love helping them grow as players and learn the game, learn the strategy. It's okay, it's okay, get up, get up, play deep. There are no referees. Players have to have enough fortitude to make their own calls. So it's also really satisfying to see students grow as people. Yeah, I, I love coaching a lot. <laughs> the group of volunteers from National Life Group is going to come here. We're going to head down the bike path and we're going to plant about 30 fruit trees and berry bushes so that 10 years from now you'll be able to walk down this path in the fall and pick some apples and pick some pears and get some cherries from over here and blueberries from over here. We're going to be planting, but we're also going to be pulling plants that we don't want. So this is honeysuckle, Tartarian honeysuckle. It's invasive and it just takes over the understory so nothing else will grow. This is the best, using the tractor to pull out. Oh, so satisfying. That is so cool. Back it up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah, you can see the river all of a sudden. It's quite cool. I need to get me one of those. <laughs> Is all of National Life volunteering today? or The first week. Of yeah, May I guess was... of May. But we have people going out all year. You could go out anytime. Right, you have yeah. the 40 hours that we can use yeah. for whatever. So, so we're here all week if you guys want to come yeah. back tomorrow. We'll <laughs> People live here because they want to live here. A natural result of that is that you have a lot of people who are really engaged with their community. Does everybody have everything they need? You're new here. I'm a newbie. We always take a fair bag. Are we ready to rock and roll? Yeah, let's go. Some All right. The Trash Tramps is a volunteer group of folks that go out once a week to pick up the litter in Montpelier. It got started because of a desire to do something for the planet. And because Anne's natural proclivity is toward fun, she thought we need a fun name, we need to, an inspiring quote, we need a ritual to start off. I am one. I am only one. But still, I am one. I cannot do everything, but still I can do something. And because I can't do everything, I will not refuse to do the something I can do. I will not refuse to do the something. And then we have our motto. This work is beneath us. <laughs> I'm Ann Ferguson, and my trash tramp name is Eileen Dover. <laughs> I'm Nancy Schulz, and my trash tramp name is Sister Sludge. 
There's a good percentage of our population that are retired and we want to continue working toward the common good and so we want to put our energies and our time into volunteerism. People's reactions to us are so kind. Many of them thank us. They just want to let us know that we're appreciated. I think knowing your neighbor, it being an easy place to walk and bike in, contributes to civic engagement. You know, it's rich work actually. You get more out of it than you'd think. It looks bad and all you do is just pick something up and it changes everything, right? Makes it good again. Keeps it out of the river, especially the plastics and stuff, right? Like that, that gets in, the fish go after it and kills the fish. You got it? Nice job. I love it that you can try something creative and new and different that will make the world better. I think part of what the Trash Tramps effort has to do with um, feeling like I'm caring for my town. It's a way for me to care and to give back. Yay. We got ten bags, of ten bags of trash and 1,200 butts. Nice, huh? Yes. <laughs> That's right. And one parking ticket. <laughs>